hello today i'll teach you how to print a fibonacci series so let me first tell you what a fibonacci series is so a fibonacci series will be something like this say 1 1 2 3 5 and so on how did we get this so the first and second term is 1 and 1 the third term is the sum of the previous two terms so this term will be sum of the previous two terms so this plus this is 2 now next term will be sum of the previous two terms so sum of this plus this so we get 3 so next term will be sum of these two terms so it will be 5 so next term will be sum of these two terms that is 8 so it keeps on going on so for the program let us take two variables say f equal to 1 f is first s equal to 1 so s is second so this is first this is second so what is the third term third term is nothing but first term plus second term so t equal to f plus s so now we have found three terms so to find this term we have to add these two terms so we will make s as the new first and t as the new second and then again f plus s will be the new third to find this term we will make this s as new f this this t as new second term and then we add f plus s we get the new third term so in this way we will proceed so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 terms so if n equal to 6 we print this entire stuff if n equal to 7 we'll print 1 1 2 3 5 8 8 and then 13 so we'll print n number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. so we need a term called n so let's say n equal to 7 now we have int f equal to 1 s equal to 1 and d as nothing so what i am going to do is i am going to print first and second so system dot out dot print ln f so it will print 1 now system dot out dot print ln so it will print this one also now i have to print from these terms so for this i have told explain it to you so let us use a for loop since we have printed the first term and second term we have to print from the third term so i'll start the loop as int i equal to 3 and we have to go up to n n terms and then i plus plus then what you have to do you have to find the third term what is the third term first term plus second term is third term so third term t equal to first term f plus second term s so we got the third term now we'll print it So we got the third term. Now we have to make our second term as our new first term. So how we will do it? First term equal to second term. So what was in S will be now our new F. Now we have to do is we have to make the third term as a second term. So second term is the third term now i think you understood we have one and two this was first this was second this was third in order to find this term we have to add this and this 
so we are making this s into new f so f equal to s means now f will come here s equal to t means s will come here and this will be gone so again when the loop runs t will be f plus s so it will become 1 plus 2 f plus s and we will get t as 3 so that is why we are writing these two statements now we can finish the for loop this is for loop it's main and the class now let me run this program so i have this program done on my pc so for n equal to 5 let me run the program i got 5 terms if i change n as 10 and run the program i'll get 10 numbers for the Fibonacci series if you like my videos consider subscribing to my channel thank you